Hey guys, it's time fast, and today I don't have a box. Pro Bryce. I may not have a box, but I can tell you today we're gonna take a look at the GN Archer, and this is a high grade. And you might be wondering why this is in silver. Well, this was painted by yours truly. But in more honestly, I just tried to paint it like in the rollout colors because Double O has those rollout colors and gotta say, I don't regret it. So anyway, let's take a look closer at the GN Archer and that rhymed. Now the GN Archer itself is a pretty beautiful looking mobile suit. Very slender, very sleek. And when you look at the back, it has those details and thanks to the color of silver I use you can totally see it's shiny and you can see all the detail but that also means one thing without any panel line it will look dull and that is the reason for the back being so heavy but you can use that the backpack to stand her up now honestly I never actually liked the GN Archer and I never actually watched Double O until the end but I gotta say the GN Archer looks goddamn impressive up close. To the point that maybe some sickos out there might make a rule 34 about this mobile suit, but then again, I'm not one of those people and I'm just reviewing. Speaking of review, let's take a look at the articulation. Now first we're going to start off with the things at the back here. Now these things, they are connected to a polycat right there so they move in and out and they can rotate at that section. And these are connected to a ball joint which allows them to do whatever a ball joint does. I'll just remove that and you can see it for yourself. It's connected to these ball joints and they can rotate all the way around should you want to. Same goes with this one. They're basically the same and I'm going to remove that. Oh no. Don't worry. She's okay. This part right here can hinge up and down for reasons we'll talk about later. The head here is on a standard poly cap so it can look up that far and look down that far. They can rotate all the way. No, not all the way around because due to the yellow ponytail. The arms are connected to the standard poly cap ball poly cap poly cap poly cap ball joint so they move forwards and backwards that much. Rotation all the way around. The bicep can rotate all the way around and sadly only a single jointed elbow don't worry this is 2008 it's understandable why but it could be better but uh, but you do get these um, extra movement on the wrist there which kind of makes up for that and then you get the standard ball socket wrist as usual the waist here despite being so slim you can rotate it all the way around just be careful of this thing which will get in the way but it, in my version it's easy to pop off so if yours do uh, does that too be careful now the waist here you can obviously it's on ball joints there but I should mention that this part right here can um, remove and can swivel just like the uh, double quanta the legs here they move forwards really far look at that and they move backwards not all that much due to this part move outwards Due to those um, bicep armors, it will get it away, but then again, if I remove them, it's not limited by that as well. And damn, boy, this robot is thick. Flexing right now, we got the double jointed knee, a standard of the double O line. And you can break a knee if you want to, but that's relevant for another thing. And the feet here are a real, little bit disappointing. Forwards, obviously not going to achieve much. Side to side, obviously not going to achieve much as well. Rotation is present, thankfully. And of course, the toe joint. But that's relevant for another thing. Let's be honest, you're not buying the GN Archer for its posability. You're buying it because it looks cool. For accessories, we just talked about these things. These are the GN Particle Tanks. And these are basically on the mobile suit, so we're not talking about that. Let's talk about the guns, and they just plug into the hand as simple as easy in 3, 2, 1. And ba bam You got the GN Archer fully equipped. And yes, you can connect it to an action base with the hole on standard Gunpla. And yes, those are the only accessories you have. Unless if we're gonna talk about this peculiar block, which we'll get into right now. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, this 
thing obviously can transform. So transforming her is not that um, not that difficult. So just gonna bend the arms in the standard position like this, twist the manipulators, I suppose, in a way that these guns should point forward. Just give me a second. No, I was dumb. You just twist the manipulators and the guns point back and you just bring the arms forward. Do the same thing on the other side, if I'm not mistaken. Just like that. And then you bend the knees reversely, just like on every other Gundam transformation ever. Bend them forward and you just gotta collapse the toes like so. Now you're gonna have to flip this so that this part goes over the ponytail because there is a hole right there and you just make sure it enters like so and then you can close the sides make sure everything lines up once you've done all those steps you basically get the transform from <laughs> You get the transform state of the Jean Archer, which I don't know the official name of. I've never watched the Gunner Double O, as I said before. And yeah, this thing is missing the green section. There is a sticker for that, but I ignored it because I'm not gonna display it in this mode too often. And if you can see here, the mode does look cool. It looks cool from this side, from the top, and from this side as well. But once you look under it, it becomes clear that this is just a crippled mobile suit. And the one thing you might be asking yourself, what's the purpose for this hole? Well, this hole is for docking it with the Gundam Arios, which I do not have. I might get it in the future. Who knows? And then you might be asking yourself, how am I supposed to connect this to an action base? The action base is right there. Well, you can still connect it like this if you wanted to. But in all seriousness, this block just connects into this chest. There are some slots here and you can just connect it like so. And now you have yourself a GN Archer on the base in jet mode. And I gotta say, um, with more detail, this jet mode would look better. But then again, I'm a lazy ass. Getting her transformed back into a robot mode, here he, she is next to the Gundam Exia and the Gundam Virtue, both which are her best friends. And here she is next to the standard size high grade art activity 8-2 revive and the sd god gundam and as you can see she is very small and finally here she is next to ultraman ginga and lego spider-man so that's it for the review now the question is do you want to buy this and that is a question which depends on what you look for if you want a girl robot that can transform and you are a big fan of Gunna Double O, I say get this kit. But if you just want a transforming Gundam or mobile suit, there are better options out there just like the HG Zeta the Revive and maybe some other high grades like yeah. And if you want a girl Gundam, there is the Nobel Gundam if you're into that thing. But I say, yeah, you should get this if you really like it. I mean, it's futuristic, it's a girl robot, it can transform. But do take note that everything you see that transform does not plug in. So you're gonna have to be careful. Now the question is, are you willing to pay that many, that much money? Because the, gun, the GN Archer right now, um, for what it is, it was a cheap kit back then, but with every other gunpla out there that has better quality I'd say that the GN Archer may not be the one for you but if you're willing to cash out then I should say yeah and if you can get it for a cheaper price from other buyers then I say hell yeah go for it and that's all from me this was time pass and I'll see you next time